There's a storm brewing as we're speaking. Oh, sorry. I've been drinking coffee this morning. Louisiana is getting hit with a terrible hurricane right now. And we feel really bad for the state of Louisiana because here's the deal. New Orleans got bombed by Katrina in 2004. And, I mean, I feel like they've just now recovered from that, and now they've already got hit with another hurricane. Which they're saying is much worse than Katrina, even though it was a Category 4. How is it much worse, though? Because Katrina basically flooded the entire city. What are they saying? Well, the storm surge yesterday had apparently already gotten up to, like, six feet, and the storm hadn't even hit yet. So New Orleans is in a bowl, essentially. Like, the elevation levels go down towards the middle of the city. So any kind of water surge basically just comes through and floods the city really easily. So this is terrible yeah. um, devastation. And, uh, you know, not to try to make this about football, but do you think the Saints are going to be able to play f- their seasons this year in their stadium, or is it going to be kind of like it was in 05 where they played away games every year? I'm seeing a lot of away games in New Orleans history or future. So. It, it's bad. If you live in New Orleans, as great of a city as it is, you almost got to consider moving, right? I mean, every 15 years, there's just going to be this bad hurricane that comes through and floods the place. Well, I've already been seeing a bunch of TikToks and stuff where people are like, they have the shutters that close in on their windows so their windows don't get busted. Yeah. So, like, I think they're prepared for it. It's one of those things, I guess, you either have to be prepared to ride a storm out or be prepared to like lock your house up and move so So you can be prepared for like a hurricane but how do you prepare for flooding because you can't stop like rushing water coming in no you can't it's gonna like there's no boarding up your doors or windows for water you gotta have insurance hey what what insurance company though is gonna want to cover flooding in in louisiana that's got to be a tough sell yeah, that's you wouldn't catch me selling flooding insurance to anybody in that. Uh, well, because you know insurance companies are banking on banking on the fact they're not going to have to use it, right? They're yeah. going to charge you two thousand dollars a year, hoping that you never burn your house down or nothing ever happens. And then over the course of fifty years, they've made a couple hundred grand on you, you know, along with investing your money. Yeah, and so that's how they make money in Louisiana. If you take flood insurance out, you know you're going to need it. Yeah, I mean, it's like taking earthquake insurance out in San Francisco or something. Well, I will say this, though. I mean, you think Hurricane Katrina was the last time you had the bad flooding. So that's 2004. They've had 2014 have been 10 years. And then add the what, seven 16? or eight. So it's yeah. been almost 18 years since they've had the you know last storm, 16. So they've had enough time to rack up the money. They still can make a profit. So. I don't know. Maybe they could. Uh, well, I'm sure FEMA is going to get involved. Oh, yeah. Which yeah. FEMA, like for everything, you know, I've heard working for FEMA is great, by the way. Do you know they pay you, even if you have no skills, I believe you make like $1,000 a day if you join FEMA and go somewhere and work a disaster relief. I mean, you could literally make $1,000 a day directing traffic. I it's really crazy. The amount of money we spend on FEMA, it, I, there's something, there's a, that's, that would be a good conspiracy theory show. Because I think FEMA is, I think there's some money being switched hands with FEMA. I've got a lot to say about FEMA, but we'll do that in another video. Maybe we'll put that out. Like, do you remember? Day. Do you remember the Alan? What was that old show? Um, Jesse Ventura. Do you remember that show? Yeah. Uh, it was like a conspiracy theory show. I think it was on like USA back in the early 2000s. They did a thing where they were trying to say FEMA was secretly like a, uh, like a what, like a Nazi camp or something. Do you remember that? And it got banned. The episode got banned. There's a lot of that we can talk about. Maybe we can put that out Wednesday. Yeah. Well, Jesse Ventura was funny anyway. That guy was, he was a governor, and he was a pro wrestler, and he was like a Navy SEAL. And he was always like, brother, I'm telling you, brother. <laughs> you know, He had like that Hulk Hogan-like language to him. Yeah. He was a better commentator than wrestler. I'll put that out there. Yeah. I don't, I never watched him wrestling, but I heard, oh, he, did he not also like play briefly in the NFL or my me? He been. did all kind of stuff. I mean, he was a Navy SEAL back in the 70s. He was like one of the Vietnam Navy SEALs. And then he he may or may not, I think he might have pl- tried to play in the NFL. Then he was like a wrestler. Then he did commentating. And then he ran for governor and actually won governor of Minnesota, which now Minnesota is such a liberal state. I just, it's kind of hard to believe he actually won governorship in Minnesota. So basically you're saying he's the Tim Tebow of his niche well he was i mean obviously he was like a hyper right-wing conservative and i believe he won the governorship of minnesota in the early 2000s 
So, which I know a lot of probably changed in Minnesota over the last 20 years. But, yeah, he, he was kind of cuckoo. But, I mean, I like him, but he was kind of crazy. Yeah. Other thing, I was talking about Louisiana. Speaking of Popeyes, I went to Bojangles this weekend and tried the chicken sandwich again. They, and if you remember, we did a chicken sandwich challenge a couple of weeks ago. That Bojangles chicken sandwich, the one I got when we did the challenge, was with like the first week they came out. They didn't have that thing dialed in. They got it dialed in now. That is a huge chicken sandwich. That sandwich was like the size of the Popeyes chicken sandwich, and it's also spicy. I think Bojangles has at least the second best chicken sandwich, and it's close to Popeyes for first place. I agree. The thing about it is, though, I mean, it almost tastes like a chicken sandwich from Popeyes. So I think it's like. Did I, they copy them, I guess? Is that what? That's it. So they, there's no way they take first place because. Popeyes had it first. Exactly. Well, and what is the fundamental difference between Popeyes and Bojangles? I'm a bigger fan of Bojangles in general. I think their sides are better. You know, I like their chicken yeah. strips. But Popeyes does probably have a better chicken sandwich. But they're both Louisiana-based, Cajun-based chicken places so they're very similar i think the thing with that is popeyes is like the lsu no popeyes is like the raging cajuns and then the bojangles is like the lsu because they're well known and everything else is better but the raging cajuns they kind of have like something to them there's like one good thing about them and so the who are the raging cajuns louisiana the actual college you oh Louis you know louisiana is a weird state in that like Louisiana, the the you know you got LSU and then Louisiana, and Louisiana is almost nobody knows about it. Yeah. Like in most states, the state college is well known, right? South Carolina, North Carolina, Georgia, yeah. Tennessee, Florida, but it's like in Louisiana, nobody knows Louisiana. Yeah. It's just LSU, and then in some states, the state college is a big deal. But like in South Carolina, nobody really knows SC State, nobody knows Georgia State, Tennessee State. Yeah, you know, it, it's always weird to me what what colleges are well-known and what colleges aren't. Because even, you know, if you think about it, Louisiana is not even the second best-known college in Louisiana. I would say Tulane, maybe. Like, if you're not – if it's not LSU, I know Tulane, there's um, – I, I mean, I would – I don't know. I've never heard of Louisiana. I honestly never thought about the fact that they even have a school. And you know what? I'm not even talking about the right school because Louisiana, they're not the Raging Cajuns. That's Louisiana, uh, Louisiana Lafayette. They're the Raging Cajuns. Louisiana Lafayette. Is that yeah. that is where Terry Bradshaw went to school, I think. And it changed its name. Uh I don't know. They, Louisiana's got a weird Louisiana, I'll just be honest. Louisiana is LSU country. Yeah. Like it's like Tennessee. Tennessee, everybody in the state of Tennessee is a Tennessee Volunteers fan. And the Vandy's like their Ivy League school, but they don't really they kinda they don't hate it, but they, you know, they're a yeah. Tennessee fan. And in, in Louisiana, everybody's an LSU fan. There's no Auburn, Alabama rivalry. It's just, you know, everything is LSU. LSU. You know, unlike here where it's like 50-50 Clemson, South Carolina, which I like having the rivalry. Yeah. And at LSU, what is their rival? I guess Alabama. Yeah. I mean, they have, but see, Alabama's rivals Auburn and them, but, you know. Well, they have so many rivals. Everybody, Al everybody rivals, hates Alabama. So, because, yeah. I mean, Alabama plays Tennessee. That's a rivalry game. Then Alabama plays Auburn. That's a rivalry game. Uh, LSU, Alabama, that's a rivalry game. So, it's like Georgia, South Carolina. That's a rivalry. Then Clemson, Carolina. I think everybody has multiple rivals. All right. Well, we are definitely praying for Louisiana, and I um, hope that uh, you guys stay safe. I know one person has died, and so obviously that's terrible. But hopefully everybody else can get safely out of there, and um, hopefully you know everybody's homes and stuff isn't destroyed and can move on. But um, yeah, tough situation, and yeah. uh, it's a great state to have that problem. Yeah, hate it, but. I'll tell you something. If you survived the storm, subscribe to us and like us. We'll be your biggest advocate <laughs> besides FEMA. He's shamelessly plugging the show while a hurricane is beating down on the city. I am. What? <laughs> Peace. <laughs>